वेलकम टू प्रैक्टिकल मेडिसिन टूडे टॉपिक एबनॉर्मल हार्ट साउंड एक्स्ट्रा हार्ट साउंड इन दिस्टोल सो द फर्स्ट एक्स्ट्रा हार्ट साउंड इन दिस्टोल दैट इज ड्यू टू अर्ली सिस्टोलिक इजेक्शन साउंड दैट अकर शॉर्टली आफ्टर एस वन सो हियर यू आर सींग दैट दिस साउंड दैट इज नोन एज अर्ली सिस्टोलिक इजेक्शन साउंड एंड इट अकर शॉर्टली आफ्टर द एस वन सो दैट इज एस वन and after s1 we are hearing these are high pitch sharp clicking in quality and are best heard with the diaphragm part of the stethoscope on auscultation and this early systolic ejection sound indicates cvd cardiovascular disease early systolic ejection sounds specifically aortic ejection sound that is louder at the apex it is not vary with the respiration and may accompany a dilated aorta or aortic valve disease from a congenital stenosis or a bicuspid aortic valve so this aortic ejection sound is louder at the apex it is independent from the respiration and may accompany a dilated aorta or aortic valve disease that is happening from the congenital stenosis or bicuspid aortic valve so that is about the aortic ejection sound early systolic ejection sounds specifically pulmonic ejection sound that is best heard from the left second and third intercostal spaces intensity decreases with the inspiration so this sound is dependent or associated or it having the effect of respiration so during the inspiration the intensity of pulmonic ejection sound has been decreased and causes of pulmonic ejection sound includes the dilatation of the pulmonary artery pulmonary hypertension and pulmonic stenosis so that is about the pulmonic ejection sound and it is one of the early systolic ejection sounds now the second type of extra hard sounds in systole that is systolic clicks it is caused by mitral valve prolapse it occur either during the mid systole or late systolic phase it may be extra cardiac or mediastinal in origin systolic clicks it could be extra cardiac without the involvement of the heart or there is involvement of the mediastinal presence the systolic clicks are high pitch sound and it is best heard with the diaphragm part of the stethoscope this followed by late systolic murmurs from the mitral regurgitation that crescendos up to the asto so in conditions of mitral regurgitation that occur in the late systolic murmurs there is increase in intensity from starting above the later on so this type of murmurs these are crescendos and that is up to the second heart sound so this type of activity when we heard it is the systolic clicks auscultatory findings are variable most patient have only a click some have only a murmur and some have both that means this type of sound when we are hearing some patient we feel like it's a murmur other patients we are feeling like it's a click and some other typical patients we are feeling like it's both murmur as well as clicks so these are systolic clicks systolic clicks in the mitral valve prolapse this mitral valve prolapse clicks change with the body position during the squatting and during the standing in the squatting and during the valsalva release phase there is delays the click and murmur due to increase venous return so here you are seeing that the gap between the clicks and the first heart sound is little bit more than on the standing position why because it delays the click and murmur due to increase venous return now in the standing position and on the valsalva strain phase this clicks and the murmurs appear closer or it moves closer to the s1 so here in the standing position the gap between the s1 and c1 is much lesser than that of the squatting position so it happens in the mitral valve prolapse extra hard sounds in diastole opening snap it's a early diastolic sound that caused by abrupt deceleration during the opening of the stenotic mitral valve so this happens in the conditions of mitral valve stenosis it is based heard just medial to the apex 
and along the lower left sternal border it is less audible as the valve leaflets become more calcified when the calcification of the mitral valve leaflets is increased the sound of the opening snap is less audible it is better heard with the diaphragm part of the stethoscope so that is about the opening snap it's a extra hard sound in the diastole normally with the help of stethoscope we are hearing only first heart sound and second heart sound if we hear the third heart sound in the physiologic condition and pathologic condition so first physiologic condition third heart sound normally frequently heard in children and young adults up to the age of 35 or 40 years and during the last trimester of the pregnancy and this physiologic s3 occurs early in the diastole during the rapid ventricular filling and it is later than opening snap that means after the second heart sound the opening snap is the first happens after some time there is third heart sound so if we are able to hear the opening snap just closer to the s2 then we can say that it's definitely a opening snap but if the duration of the sound after s2 is little bit longer that happens after some time then it's third heart sound it is heard based at the apex in the left lateral decubitus position and in this position with the bell part of the stethoscope we hear the sound with very light pressure so that is the third heart sound pathologic s3 or it is also known as ventricular gallop sounds adults more than 40 years are usually pathologic that means if we are hearing sound in adults or the third heart sound if we are hearing in adults more than 40 years of age then it's must due to some pathologic causes that arise from the high left ventricular filling pressure abrupt deceleration of inflow across the mitral valve at the end of the rapid filling phase of the diastole so if the sound of s3 or the third heart sound we are hearing in adults more than 40 years it is usually pathogenic in nature and it arise from the high left ventricular filling pressure as well as it is due to abrupt deceleration of inflow across the mitral valve at the end of the rapid filling phase of the diastole and the causes of this third heart sound pathologic in nature it includes decreased myocardial contractility heart failure and ventricular volume overload that occurs from the aortic or mitral regurgitation and left to right shunts so in all these conditions we are hearing the pathologic third heart sound fourth heart sound normally it is not audible it is specifically known as atrial sound or atrial gallop rhythm it occurs just before s1 if we are hearing some sound that appears just before s1 so it could be the fourth heart sound it is dull and low pitch in character it is best heard at the apex with the bell part of the stethoscope occasionally this fourth heart sound is normal that means physiologically it is normal in trained athletes and older age groups and this atrial sound or atrial gallop rhythm or the fourth heart sound is due to ventricular hypertrophy or fibrosis that causes stiffness and increase in the resistance during ventricular filling that follows the atrial contraction so here the audible fourth heart sound causes that is due to the ventricular hypertrophy or the fibrosis causes the stiffness and increased resistance or decreased compliance and it is during the ventricular filling that follows the atrial contraction so all this condition we are hearing the fourth heart sound that is atrial gallop fourth heart sound left sided causes hypertensive heart disease aortic stenosis and ischemic and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy other causes of fourth heart sound this includes pulmonary hypertension and pulmonic stenosis it is associated with the delayed conduction between the atria and ventricle when there is delay in conduction between the atria and ventricle we hear the fourth heart sound in the stethoscope third and fourth heart sounds sometimes patients has both s3 and s4 producing quadruple rhythm of the four heart sounds normally on the stethoscope 
we are hearing only S1 and S2. But in some times, the patient has both that are audible on the stethoscope and it produces a 4 heart sound that is quadruple rhythm. So in this condition, when all four audible heart sounds on the stethoscope, either from the diaphragm or bell part of the stethoscope, then this condition is known as quadruple rhythm. At rapid heart rates, third heart sound and fourth heart sound may merge into one loud extra heart sound that is called summation gallop. What is summation gallop? When there is increase in the heart rate. So in this condition, the S3 and S4 sound both merge together and produce a one louder sound. So this type of sound when appear on when heard it is known as summation gallop. And what is quadruple rhythm? When all four heart sounds are audible on the stethoscope examination then it is known as quadruple rhythm. I hope now you understand abnormalities of the heart sounds. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your friends, group, batch and colleagues. Thank you so much everyone.